I'm Greg Nibbler and this is DT Daily. Coming up, the plane crash in San Francisco rattles a pair of tech executives. Facebook rolls out its graph search feature to all US users and the internet gets its first arrest video caught on Google Glass. First reports of the crash landing of Asiana Airlines Flight 214 at San Francisco International Airport on Saturday came not from traditional media, but from Samsung executive David Yoon, who was aboard the tragic flight and posted his first person account of the accident on Twitter. Yoon, who manages Samsung's media offerings, recounted in tweets and on private social network Path that the tail of the plane had ripped off and compared the disaster to his experience during the September 11th terrorist attack. Facebook Chief Operating Officer Sheryl Sandberg was also supposed to be on Flight 214, along with her family and three colleagues. But, according to a post on Facebook, Sandberg switched tickets at the last minute to use frequent flyer miles on another airline. The crash, which resulted in the death of two teenagers from China and injuries to more than 180 other passengers, is currently believed to have been caused by an error by the pilot, who was in training and had never landed at that airport before. If you've been anxiously waiting for your Facebook page to upgrade with the new graph search feature, your wait is coming to an end. The social network giant tells ABC News that all users in the United States will have access to graph search within the next couple of weeks, with many users getting the sophisticated search functionality today. Graph search, which was announced earlier this year, allows users to find people and things on Facebook and around the web by using natural language search techniques. For example, with Graph Search, you can look up friends that love sushi or colleagues who like baseball and beer. Due to its ability to turn up all types of information about users, Graph Search has come under fire for potential privacy problems. But the company assures users that the feature will not turn up any info about you that you haven't already made available on your profile. The internet got its first taste of a world with Google Glass on Friday with the release of the first arrest video filmed with the search giant's fancy wearable tech. Filmed during 4th of July celebrations at a New Jersey boardwalk, the video shows the aftermath of a scuffle between a number of partiers, at least one of whom ends up in police custody. Chris Barrett, founder of digital agency PR Serve and one of the lucky Google Glass explorers who got first dibs on the high-tech glasses, filmed the arrest. He tells VentureBeat that the video proves just how much Google Glass will change the way we record our lives. He called the invention of Google Glass a huge step for citizen journalism and predicted that users will be inclined to record everything about their life. Google Glass, which packs a video camera and other smartphone-like features, is expected to launch sometime next year. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.